Hey, so if you're anything like me, you're competitive and you want to know who's better, right? Boys or girls, cats or dogs, Ben and Jerry's or Hagen dazs Well, luckily for us, some research has gone into the first one in the sense that both boys and girls' brains have been examined under a microscope. So the New York Times posted an article a couple of months ago about this and they mentioned where this notion of male and female brains came from. Apparently in 17th and 18th century Europe, the rise of egalitarian ideas created the need for a scientific account of women's inferior status. So people wanted the science to prove that girls weren't as good at anything as boys. So it was said that they wanted women to not only be viewed merely as inferior to men, but as fundamentally different from and therefore completely incomparable to men. But it makes sense to think that male and female brains are different, right? Because men are considered to be more aggressive in nature and women are considered to be more emotionally vulnerable. And as pointed out on the early show, men have a natural talent for math and women are much more able to multitask. But more importantly, on that show, it was declared by a medical expert that men have six and a half times more gray matter than women, whereas women have 10 times as much white matter as men. But as an article in Nature pointed out, these differences would demand that women's heads were about 50% larger. So, is there any difference to the structure of girls' and boys' brains? Apparently not. Newer scientists have identified no decisive category-defining differences between the brains of men and women. In women's brains, language processing is not spread any more evenly across the hemispheres than it is in men's, as a small 1995 Nature study proclaimed, but a larger 2008 meta-analysis disproved. So if there's no difference in the structure of men and women's brains, then how do we explain the very obvious differences in behavior and interests between men and women? Gina Rippon, the author of The Gender Brain, thinks that the brain is no more gendered than the liver or the kidneys or the heart. But she explains that a gendered world has had an impact on the human brain. She shows how children's brains probably differentiate due to the starkly pink versus blue cultures in which they are shown from the moment they're born and how differently adults act towards children when they think that they're either a girl or boy. I mean, have you seen that social experiment that they did with the babies? I'll link it down below for you to check out how ridiculous it is that even as babies that boys and girls are treated differently. And I'd really love to know your opinions on this. Do you think girls and boys' brains are innately different? And I'd like to thank CuriosityStream for sponsoring this video. Curiosity Stream is a subscription streaming service founded by John Hendricks, the founder of the Discovery Channel, and it offers over 2,400 documentaries and non-fiction titles from the, some of the world's best filmmakers. This includes a show about the body, and it discusses how the brain was once thought to be the body's control tower, issuing commands to the other organs. But scientists are discovering that communication flows between all the organs in our bodies. They transmit messages that can boost immunity, improve memory, strengthen bones, and even lengthen lifespan. Unlimited access starts at just $2.99 a month, but for all of you guys, the first 30 days are completely free if you sign up at curiositystream.com forward slash science with Katie and use the promo code science with Katie. So go check it out and tell me what you think. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching. Bye!